Greetings everyone and hello and if you just watched my stream tonight you may have noticed that I was conquering Portuguese and I pretty much am dominating all languages now. T2 has become a polyglot and I just wanted to give you some tips and hints about how easy languages are to learn. What makes languages hard to learn is that idiots most dumbasses try to learn one language at a time that's not how you do it what you want to do is learn as many languages as possible at a time and that way you'll see the connections between the languages and you'll learn how they were formed the roots of the the latin and the greek if you know a lot of like terminology from like science or medicine a lot of that uses latin and spanish french portuguese these are all languages that come from Spanish and Latin. German is a little more closely related to English. Japanese is totally different, but that was the main one that I started learning. But then, yeah, that one, you can't really relate that to anything because it's all backwards. Japanese is like you go to school, school, you you go to. It's everything's like backwards. Arabic, I don't know how like the words the structure of the words or anything but like learning the letters is super easy dude arabic was surprisingly easy to learn hindi was real fucking hard i'm not even going to attempt hindi or greek greek seems kind of hard uh i started doing norwegian and dutch tonight dutch was pretty easy similar to finnish and swedish and all those kind of languages but uh i'm not like an expert in any language really but in Duolingo, it looks like I'm real fucking good because I'm getting high scores and stuff. Uh, Spanish, German, Portuguese are my highest, then probably Arabic or Japanese, uh, first of all. But like, those are my third next. But I've been making some notes because some of this is like you can kind of mentally make mnemonic devices on stuff. Like, some of it I was coming up with tonight was funny. And it makes sense though, like, um, what was that word for, Dutch word for, um, shoes was like clodhoppers or something that sounded like that. I mean, it, it made clompers. It was, <laughs> it was like clompers or something like that, right? So, Portuguese, it was real similar to Spanish. Everybody already knew that, I think. But like, some of the words were like, the word for monkey is macaco. What's a type of monkey? A macaque. So it's easy to figure out. The word for snake was cobra, which is a type of snake. But they pronounce it like chobre or something like that. Chowbre. Something like, it doesn't sound anything like cobra, but the word is cobra. A lot of it is like Duolingo gives you just enough buttons that you can kind of figure out what the sentence is going to be because the other words have nothing to do with it. So the only ones you're left with, you just got to like rearrange them so it makes sense. But it also makes you feel like you're doing good while you're learning what the words are. So that's pretty cool. Like the word for fazenda in Portuguese means farm. Like how do you remember fazenda? Well, hacienda is a house in Spanish. Tienda is a store in Spanish, so a fazienda is like a farmhouse, right? Don't that make sense? Fazienda? Fazenda? Fagenda. I guess they say it fazenda or something like that. That was Portuguese, right? Yeah. What's the word for steak in Portuguese? B-I-F-E. Bife. What's, it, what's steak? It's beef. What's the word for cow? Vaco, I think. That doesn't sound anything like cow. But, if you take the V-A and you put it on the N and you pronounce it the way the Germans pronounce V's is like, they pronounce W's like V's, it's like Kawa. Kawabunga. I don't know. It's just like mnemonic devices, plus it also kind of makes sense. Then there's some cool ones, like I noticed, like palavras in Portuguese means words. If you want to sit down and have a palaver with somebody, you're having words with them. That makes sense to me. Um, cartas means letters, like you write a letter to somebody. What is the ultimate letter? The Magna Carta. It was a letter that 
the English wrote to the French or something, right? Or vice versa? Something like that? Or we wrote to Britain, yeah. The, the Americans wrote to the British and declared independence, right? What the fuck is Magna Carta? I mean, I'm not smart. I know things, but I don't know all of the things. I don't, I don't like know the details. Fervia means boils. What do you do when you heat up water? You fervently heat it up. You boil it. Eh? Fervia? I mean, it makes sense. Um, what's the... Con permiso? With my permission? Con licenzo in Portuguese. Means excuse me. Con permiso in Spanish. Con licenzo in Portuguese. It's like with with license. Con, con licenza. With, my, with your license. With your permission. Don't that make sense? I mean, it just... In my brain, it all, like... Just explains itself. And, uh... I hope that helps you guys a little bit. That's just the ones I wrote down. The only other one I wrote down was, like, the German word for hell. It means bright. And I started thinking about... That Hellier documentary. And how... Uh, Hellier, Kentucky is... Coal mining country. If people are down in the dark coal mines... And they come out to the town... The town is brighter, hellier, than the caves, or the, the mines that they were just in, right? I don't know if it was settled by German people. I know Kentucky has a lot of Mennonites. They have some Amish up in the north near um, Pennsylvania, I guess, the Dutch. I don't know if all these things relate to each other, if they all make sense. But they kind of do, and it's, it makes it easy to remember. I don't know. Languages are cool. I didn't know I had this skill. I've always kind of recognized connections and stuff with words, but I didn't really know languages were going to be this easy. I didn't know when I was listening to the Rammstein that Mutter was about a mother. I mean, that's pretty pretty weird. I don't know. A lot of the sentences were pretty funny, too. Like, I got tickled by... <laughs> There's a couple of different languages that throw out, He needs a cat. I'm like, who the fuck needs a cat? Why would you ever need a cat? That's the weirdest sentence I've ever heard. No one needs a cat. And then it's like someone's like the animals don't wear shoes or the the wolf cooks a fish or something like that. It's like they throw out a bunch of weird sentences that you wouldn't expect, so you have to actually know what they are instead of piecing it together. But uh yeah, I really like Duolingo. It's pretty fun. I'm just treating it like a game. 